This is a great example of a place where a lot of my students say, oh, the hard questions and the hard module started much earlier than number 15. They started number 10. No, they did not. This is not hard as a number 12. This is very textbook math percentages question on the SAT. So if you if you practice that, this should be really obvious. We have three values, A, B, and C, none of which we are asked to solve for. So this is a very clear arithmetized to me. I am going to make values for these, and I'm going to try to find the simplest one. So uh, A is 230% of B, A is 60% of C, C is what percent of B? Well, if B is 100, it's going to be very easy to tell at the end what percent of 100 C is, because 100 is like our base value for percents anyway. So that's going to be my starting point. I'm going to make B 100. So when I say positive number A is 230% of B, I do have to make sure I use the right open formula, right? So uh, of is telling me that my original is B. Uh, so open is going to be the normal open formula because it's a percent of. So percent is, uh, as a decimal, is going to be 2.30. And then that's going to give me my value of A. So I could just do that in my head. A is going to be 230. So that's nice. It's another benefit of hundreds is I, I didn't really need to do that, but I wanted to show you kind of how it goes because now we do need to do that. A is 60% of C. So again, we are using our open formula. C is our of, that's our original. 60%, we're not doing any increases or decreases. And A is our new value. And so that we know is now 230. So we're gonna divide by 0.6 and we're gonna get that C is, regular calculator time, 230 divided by 0.6 is 383.3. So now when they ask the final question, uh, C is what percent of B? 383.3 is, I don't know, 383% of 100. It's pretty easy and we just need the closest value. So yeah, it's a decimal, but it doesn't really bother me too much. There you go. So that's the answer. I talked a lot, but really this has got to be a, a 60 second question, maybe less. I knew exactly what I was going to do as soon as I saw it. I knew it was going to arithmetize I, and I knew how to use the open formulas. So this is not hard. If this is hard for you, you haven't practiced percentages enough and you haven't seen this kind of question, but this is very typical. This is very predictable. And so there's maybe some places to mess up, but we like this kind of stuff. The, the hardest stuff is going to be much more unpredictable, right? It's going to be weird combinations of things or maybe even more complicated stories or percentages. This is very standard. So it's, it's more annoying than number one in this section for sure. But it's definitely not hard. So if you're struggling here, you are you need to focus on doing better here rather than worrying about the questions after 15. This has got to be mastered first before you can really get the hard stuff down.